This is only a brief video, but it, I, I was about to go to bed and I had put a book aside to do my next presentation on when I saw this news article. Belfast, racist attacks to force Syrian businessman to view shop. This is the real cost of noisy mouths talking racist nonsense. Just as in the past in Northern Ireland, those noisy mouths provoke clashes between nationalists and unionists with tragic consequences. The noisy mouths, and I'll keep calling them that whether they like it or not because they know who they are and they can squirm while I say it. The noisy mouths, the mouth on legs, produces this. A businessman whose new off house grocery store was subjected to four racially motivated attacks has said he will move his business. Ahmed al Kamarin came to Northern Ireland from Syria seven years ago, fleeing the war and worked to earn enough money to open his own store. So presumably for the wonderful people who advance racist narratives and find that YouTube is a great spot to do that, presumably should he have just said, you can't really win, can you? If he'd sat doing nothing, he would have been called a benefit thief or a scrounger. When he does something, his business is burnt down. But his shop on Belfast Donegal Road was set on fire in an arson attack on Sunday evening. Residents living of flats above the business had to be led to safety. Well done, the idiot who set this fire. So you've endangered a business, human lives, and all to make yourself feel great about a nativist and isolationist positions. Police said Sunday's attack was the fourth accident at the same premises, and they're treating them all as racially motivated hate crimes. You'll see on the screen here where some idiot who can't spell um, has put local houses and shops only. I would imagine if Mr. Al Kamaran lives in the area, he probably is a local uh, for the benefit of the prat who wrote that up. Uh, every political party has condemned it. It's not, and it's not as though there's not still um, attacks motivated on different by different means in Northern Ireland. You still get the um, let's go and. Uh, firebomb the police car or let's have a big riot because it's a certain time of year but compared to what it was 20 or 30 years ago it had calmed down in recent years we've seen attacks like this attacks on polish couples and other similar attacks this is what happens when people start up this game of these are these are not part of the community they sure aren't when you burn their houses down and their buildings down